school is back in session and winter sports are back on the court as Wabonzi Valley Warriors host the Naperville North Huskies in a DVC midseason showdown. The Warriors look for their second DVC victory after knocking off Neuqua Valley last week, while the Huskies look to move to 3-2 in conference and bounce back after losing a close game against Matia Valley. The game begins in a stalemate as both teams play aggressive defense. Luke Williams, though, turns his defense into offense as he gets the steal and makes the easy layup. Here it's Luke Williams again as he receives the pass from Grant Montanari and drains it from behind the arc. The Huskies again have quick hands as Jack Callstrand deflects the Wabonzi pass, leaving it to Jacob Nolan who goes up for the finish. The Warriors struggle to get to the hoop early, but was worth the wait as Eric Satilianov intercepts the cross-court pass and shows off his bunnies with this emphatic slam dunk. Huskies lead after the first quarter 11-5. Wabonzi though are looking to turn the tide. Tyree Coleman's pass is almost intercepted by a Husky defender, but Jackson Langendorf gets the floater to go. Warriors this time pickpocket Naperville North as a turnover results in points for Tyree Coleman, who finishes with a nice Euro step and layup at the basket. Coleman here is showing off his vision as he finds Chatelianov underneath the basket. He finishes in style with a nice kiss off the glass. Chatelianov doing it all here in the first half. A Huskies turnover leads to a Warriors fast break. Chatilianov gets to the basket as time expires. The halftime score is 19-16 as Wabonzi cuts the deficit down to three in a defensive slugfest. North begins the second half on the attack as Bryce Wells accelerates from the top of the key and finishes at the rim in traffic. Wabonzi stays within striking distance as Matt Sessom here anticipates the missed floater and rises above the Husky defenders to get the putback. Jacob Nolan does some anticipation of his own on the other end as he follows up Luke Williams' missed three-pointer for the putback. Huskies lead at the end of the third quarter, 35-25. The Warriors fight until the very end in what was a scrappy affair. Langendorf here threads the needle to find Shoy Ratke, who finishes off the glass. In the end, the Huskies sealed the victory with three throws made by Luke Williams with only a few seconds left in the game. Naperville North prevails and wins on the road against Wabonzi Valley 45-39 and moves to second place in the conference standings. Was pretty much as a team, we just wanted to continue to buckle down on defense. Um, we know that when we play our best defense that eventually the shots will fall. We only had 19 at half, so they didn't really fall like that in the first half. However, we just continue to stay with what we hang our hats on, on defense, and eventually the shots were able to fall. We finished with a decent offensive game, so I think it was really just like staying true to what we do at our school on defense and just just like, even if the shots aren't falling, we just have to figure out a way to win regardless. Definitely always is like getting deflections, even if they go out of bounds, you know, that's a win for us defensively because they have to start over their offense. So like getting deflections on the ball, tips on the ball, so other people can get steals. Obviously it's a, it's a mile, milestone for us because they're a great team. Uh, they just beat Nikwa, and Nikwa's one of the best teams in the DVC. So just bringing that energy to every game on the road.